Education in New Zealand is rapidly changing. So too are the expectations student teachers have on the industry they're entering into. Well, the New Zealand Union of Students Associations has just held a national summit in Wellington to determine exactly what issues need to be confronted the most. The president of the NZUSA, Pete Hodkinson, joins me now. Pete, thanks for your time this morning. First of all, why did you guys feel the need to hold this summit? Well, essentially, it, it, it happened because of two reasons. One, we're just coming off the end of a budget where student teachers are significantly affected by the changes. And we also heard through a number of sources, NZEI, PPTA and the student teachers that we're in contact with, that a lot of the recent changes to primary and secondary education have um, come off the back of not a, a lot of research and there's been very little consultation of education professionals. And there was a feeling that the changes were being politically and not educationally driven. And within the budget itself, let's look at that. What, what were the concerns there? Key concerns, you've got the removal of uh, teaching degrees from the national interest, which essentially means that um, student teachers can no longer extend the 200-week uh, borrowing limit because they're studying something which is in the interest of New Zealand. Did you feel in, uh, at the summit, sorry Pete for interrupting, but on that point, did you feel that, that this is having a very direct impact on the numbers wanting to go into the profession, or even some who have already made the commitment thinking about backing out at this stage? I think it quite possibly could, and um, I, I wouldn't doubt it, in fact. Um, especially for student teachers going into the profession that have perhaps done longer degrees in the past and are wanting to do a postgraduate qualification in teaching so that they can take their experience in and begin a career in passing that knowledge on. And now the funding's not there for them. What about this idea of the, uh, uh, the, the funds which were put aside to improve the teacher quality at the training end, which was then having to be pulled in order to appease the class size debate? Well, I think the class size debate was an example of uh, parents and teachers and local communities um, coming out against changes which they did not feel would adequately benefit their children. Um, and I think in answer to the question as to what about the postgraduate qualification, the, the, the resounding sentiment of the summit which we held was that postgraduate education in, in terms of improving quality of teaching should be kept as an option. But are we seeing a degree of mixed messages in the system currently where at the same time as a mandatory qualification for teachers is being um, suggested, um, we're seeing allowances being stripped from postgraduate students. And the biggest irony is the fact that these people are moving into education to do a qualification which they were receiving state funding for to move into a profession which is state funded. And are they being stung at both ends? And what implications does that have for those teachers in terms of whether they're going to want to move overseas or stay in New Zealand? What implication does that have for our, our nation's future children? Pete, bottom line is you guys want to see more communication between the education professionals and the ministry and the uh, politicians, I guess. Absolutely. I think um, we, we need to stop treating education like a political football. We've got the Greens saying that they would abolish national standards. We've got Labour saying that they would make them optional. We've got National saying that the, the way forward. And my question isn't whether those are right or wrong. My question is when are these people going to sit down in a room with educational professionals and discuss whether or not, what, what, what the pros and cons are and what is the appropriate way forward. Because if there's something wrong with it, our kids are going to be the ones that pay. Absolutely. Okay, Pete Hodkinson uh, from the New Zealand Union of Students Associations. Thanks very much. Cheers.